So this is from the Daily Caller. The Emoji Movie Blasphemes Against Feminism. It's bad enough that emojis exist in the first place, let alone there's something coming out this week called the Emoji Movie. But now people are actually upset about a tweet promoting the movie because it offends their religion. Feminism. The Emoji Movie, which hit theaters Friday, is drawing criticism online for a questionable tweet parodying Hulu's dystopian series The Handmaid's Tale. The tweet in question featured an emoji donned in a handmaid's robe with the caption, a smartphone original, the emoji's tail. The tweet read, blessed be the emoji. What? How dare they? Just look at this blasphemy. I actually think it's pretty funny. It's actually, it's really, I, I, I like it. I saw it. I laughed. Big whoop. I don't see anything offensive about it from any standpoint. But then again, I'm not a nut job. There are some things you just don't mock. The Handmaid's Tale is a sacred text and you cannot joke about it. That means you hate you hate women. Do you want people to think you hate women? If you want to mock a book, try the Bible. That really riles up those dopey Christians. If the marketing team behind this movie thought people would get a kick out of a mild joke about a popular television program, they know better now. They've deleted the offending tweet, but not before they alienated all the staunch feminists who were, until now, clamoring to see this fine motion picture. Let this be a lesson to you, Hollywood. That's not funny. Shut up. Because, of course, people got offended. Oh. When did people lose their sense of humor? I mean, really. I don't get when how people just all of a sudden lost their sense of humor. And got a stick so far up their ass, they're tasting bark. They need to lighten up, relax, and move on. It's a joke, you nuts. I mean, the movie's gonna suck anyway, because it's about emojis. Come on. You couldn't even make a good kids film out of this, shit, and that's probably what it is. I'm talking, you know, made for TV. D-list crap wouldn't even be good. But, then again, you know, it is what it is.